has everything. Bumping in, banging. <laughs> Big boy Big neighborhood, boy. ladies and gentlemen. You can't even say he's home. It's not right. Because yeah. he always come through. You know what I'm saying? Man. Kendrick Lamar yeah. is in Ooh, the neighborhood. Yeah. Welcome back to the neighborhood. Hey. Go ahead and turn hey, it up, hey, man. Yeah. Show sure, you right. Up. You know what I love about us sitting down together, Kendrick? You What's were my that? first guest mm-hmm. when I made the yeah. move. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? You probably don't remember because it didn't mean that. nothing to. Oh, okay, yeah, you did. Yeah. Okay, I was on, just checking. Don't, don't play me like I, that. I, I, didn't, I didn't know if you remembered. You know because you, you you doing so. Can we get the yeah. man a pair oh, of headphones? Like, that work. There we go. Good lord, that works, man. But, but welcome them. back to the neighborhood, man. Thank you for having me. You, you, I'm going to tell you, man. At one point, when you were saying, "Oh, big," I don't know if I'm going to blow up, and I'm thinking about getting out the business. <laughs> and I told you, I said, "Man, stay on the path. It's coming." You right. did that. And look at us now. Look man. at us now. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. You know how cats always try to be responsible for a piece of your of your success. Like, man, I told him, man, you gonna get that every day. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. But how is it now, man? You know what I'm saying? And and not that 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 there's no struggle or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But but how is it now? Has there been a difference, a change from the last five years? to today not just record success but just life and everything oh yeah definitely me being able to support my family mm-hmm. uh, can you support mine too yeah <laughs> come on, cool. come on. Yeah, at least just one you know what i'm saying but yeah right. that's gotta be great that's great uh inspire you know my mm-hmm. little brothers and sisters inspire my little cousins my city mm-hmm. um it also makes me more hungry though really though yeah why yeah because it's, it's it's a need to never be content mm-hmm. or to be comfortable you know, you always want to continue to grow. So whatever that challenge is, I'm always looking for it. Do you feel like you wrote your best verse yet? My best verse yet? Nope. Damn. Nope. Do nope. you ever I'm trip- always searching for that. Really, though? <laughs> always do you, searching for When that. you write, Kendrick, do you write or are you in the head or are you on, on a device? All three. Damn. However I can get to it, might just jump on the mic, might just have a pen and might be that little tablet right there. Can you please take that tablet, yeah, but on. turn it back into us? <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let us like, keep it. Like, yeah. good Lord, yeah. He wrote me a little note. I took the note. He don't even know. I'm about to sell that in Japan. Right. right. You know, is it different now? Everybody know who Kendrick Lamar is. Is it different to kind of to kind of step out now, privacy and everything? Oh, yeah, definitely. I can't go nowhere. Really? I can't, I can't rock like that, but I got to. Right. I can't I can't be a prisoner at the same time. So mm-hmm. you may see me in a little hole in the hall spot. You may see me in the city. You mm-hmm. may see me uh, uh, at, the at that corner store. I got to go. But you do have to plan your step up. Like, you know, you're going to be held up just a little bit more oh, now. Yeah. So you do have to give give yourself some wiggle room yeah, to, to, like, get to a seat. You know, because I see you at the games, you yeah. know. I see you walking all the way down uh-huh. where your where your seats are at. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, no, yeah, you know, you know all you know, you know how you right there, what and it's like, that, uh-huh. you, you, like if you put your foot out a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? Or if you were like two inches taller, I don't know how tall you are. You trip one of the Clippers or a Lakers, right, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what those seats cost, and I'm gonna tell you, man, I will call I you, and I will, I don't know what they cost. I'm talking about. I will call you and Top. I will be looking right at y'all just so y'all can invite me down. Uh-huh. I will call Top and I will see Top pull his phone out and go like this. Then put it back in his pocket. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like Big ain't coming oh, down there. You know? Like that, oh, now we don't. They don't do Big like Dang. that. He, he right there on the floor with us somewhere. We just don't Hilarious. see him. Hilarious. We just don't Hilarious. see him. Hilarious. You, you, you'll see a picture. It'll be Kendrick, yep. Top, yep. Beyonce, mm-hmm. Jay Z, yep. and whoever else is just sitting there. Now, if they want to go ahead and put one of them scope lenses on the camera, like one of them, the <laughs> long ass lenses, then you will see Big Boy, right. Veronica, Jaden, and Jade. But I'm, I'm fine with where yeah. we sit. You know what I'm saying? It's just that you know we got things to work towards. You That's know what the, I'm saying? Uh, okay, well, we got to make some changes, then, dog. Since we said that, Dave, you right here. Ooh. He ain't gonna oh, do nothing. Okay. <laughs> He's like, yeah, sure, okay. All that fake ass turning around. I'm sure, like, I'm sure a top listening. <laughs> what, 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 watch I'm this. Sure top your, your, your teammates supposed to do this. Watch this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you this, man. Hey, hey, Louis. What up? Hey, man. You know I'm the uh, the best man in the world, right? Oh, of course I do. There that. it is. You're supposed to do that. <laughs> yeah. Easy. Best Easy teammate call, type of bro. stuff. Hey, you 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 know uh, next time I go out, man, I'm gonna have you at a basketball game. Of course. Sit in the front row with me. Right? Oh, front row. Of there it is, right there. You're <laughs> supposed to do that. Got serious face. Yeah. 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 You know, yeah. but okay. Dave's face was serious when you turned around <laughs> with that bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Damn the album. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Man, now let me tell you, that's one of those, man. I don't buy a lot through iTunes. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? And, <laughs> but and I don't steal either. I'm gonna tell you straight up. But when I buy something as far as like an album, right. I gotta be ready for it. Right. And that album is amazing. 
Appreciate it. And you know what I love about it, man? At one point, and not not with what's going on in in hip-hop or whatever, it's just that we don't get albums Mm -hmm. sometimes. You Mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And it was a minute, Kendrick, that we weren't getting albums. Yeah. And cats are kind of coming back lyrically and all that stuff, but I enjoyed that I had an album that I could listen to Mm -hmm. and continue to listen to and and drive and fly with it. And mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? It wasn't just like every, every like you can sit here now and ask someone what their favorite is. Right. And everybody yeah. either will if you say one or everybody have Dude. different one or you come yeah. with two, three, four, five different records, man. Mm-hmm. Did you know the impact of damn when you were sitting down creating that? Yeah, because that was the whole thing. We wanted to make it for all arenas. Mm-hmm. Oh. Car. Yes, sir. We want you to be in the club. Yes, sir. We want you to uh uh you say flying, listen to it, and just vibe into it. Um, and that whole approach was from the jump. But mm-hmm. at, at the same time, we want to have some in the uh, uh, lyrical content where it connect. Mm-hmm. Where it's just not just lyrics, but yeah. it's something mm-hmm. that you can actually feel. It's stories you can feel, emotions you can relate to, yeah. like pride and mm-hmm. love and, and mm-hmm. self worth or doubt. Or you know what I mean? Why so, damn? Damn. I mean, it was well, just, I mean, we it, know we yeah. can say like, damn, <laughs> yeah. you know what yeah. I'm saying? But, but why did you title the album Damn? It was so many different ways you could put it in my head. It was like from the concept, damn, if I do, damn, if I don't. Mm. Um, the the loudness of the record, it mm. just screamed that in my face. When I think of DNA, when I think yeah. of Humble, when I think about these records, it just felt like that. Now, let me tell you. Now, my knee is getting bad. Uh huh. All righty. I was at a, who show were we just at that you came out and did Damn? Where were we at? Was it BT? Was, was it BT? Yeah, BT oh. weekend. Yeah, man, my knee almost gave out that uh. night. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's crazy what that energy feel like mm. when you come out on stage as well. Yeah. Can you mm. still hear that? Yeah, all the time. Because I thought it's you just powerful. got like a little more conceited or something. Uh, no. Yeah. So you can, still, uh, uh, you can still hear those things. I huh? can still hear. <laughs> How do you pick and choose who do you come out on stage with or is it just yeah, availability? Man. Yeah, it's really artists I respect. Mm-hmm. And, and 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 just have a, a a love for that music and and off the record too you know it'd be some real cool individuals out there and it'd be some real assholes that I really don't mm. right. rock with you know what I'm saying so um, a lot of people that I work with they just have a mutual mutual bond there because everybody wants the Kendrick verse yes yeah. you know what I'm saying like I don't even do music and I want it exactly <laughs> how do you pick and choose is it the same kind of thing where it's like you know I I, I, I definitely got to rock with that person it's really all in the music at that point mm-hmm. yeah because you can rock with that person and, right 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 and they give you a trash song and you be like, <laughs> yeah. I can't I, I, I'm not yeah, inspired yeah. by it so the record just have to be something that I can connect to why the just a single word for every song um just, and did it get hard when you start thinking like, damn? <laughs> oh, that's too. Like, what about, yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying. Hey, if you can see that list, that list was like Scrabble, man, trying to figure out what emotion uh, captured the actual lyric. So I write a verse and do the whole song, and then I feel or look at words that I feel like capture that emotion. Mm. You know, so we was going through that back and forth all through the whole process. Did you ever have another uh, album title for Damn? Uh, yep. What, what was what it? What happened on Earth stays on Earth. What happens mm-hmm. on Earth? Stays on Earth. Why not that? Um, That's a long ass title. That's a long, too, there you yeah, go. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. Kendrick Lamar, What Happens on yeah. Earth. What, yeah. what is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you have that new uh, Kendrick, What Happens on Earth? What Happens on Earth. What Happens on Earth. Like, what you Happens in ba- on Earth. You, you know what yeah. I'm talking about. We were thinking like that. It didn't read right. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. And from the album, What that. Happens on Earth stays on Earth. You hear it throughout the album, though. Yeah, but but you know what's going to happen now. Yeah, and you do. So nobody can even, now we can't even touch that. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to tell you straight up, like, all the freestyle that you done mm-hmm. and what we're going to kind of choke hold you in to do today uh, well, mm-hmm. whatever you do today we putting together an album called what happens on earth stays on go. earth this dude Look is fast yeah out. yeah man <laughs> so we putting that together man so as you see we got joel in here he's been shooting the album cover <laughs> and, and you, you didn't even soon. know get this one joel <laughs> what happens on earth stays on earth at what point during the album do you decide to add kid capri on there kid capri kid capri that was that was one of the earliest ideas actually um, I just wanted to make it feel like uh, something that was raw and organic, you know, something that just came from the underground. At the same time, still have these ear candy sounds. So it was mm. just meshing two worlds together the best way I could and making it connect. When you reached out to him, like, to let him know, like, you wanted him a part of this project, what was his reaction? Man, he was excited. He was mm-hmm. excited, you know, just off the simple fact that, uh, you know, I respect the culture and I respect mm-hmm. the legacy and the people that laid the foundation and just bringing them to, you know, the forefront of what's going on today so he was all for it and you know i gave him a rundown how i wanted to feel 
and what I wanted to convey through the music, and he was rocking. Love that. I just love that, like that sound and like that feeling yeah. that it brought. But I was like, "What?" Yeah, I, was I want to tell you straight up. Uh, some of us kind of low key hated on that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, lo- I love Kid Capri, but I could have did that. Yeah, you know he could have. Not like that. You know, not not like Kid Capri because that's legendary. Yeah. But I could, you know, <laughs> like Big Boy. Then he threw out the yeah. album. You couldn't, you couldn't have shared it with a, <laughs> with a couple of us. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> yeah, you know. So, but you got more albums in you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So no, ours no. is coming. You'll be there, big. It'll be great there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Next Greater one. later, brother. Right. We, yeah. got the, we got the floor seats. Hey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody hey, man, you going to stop coming here. You be like, dude, he be in there begging for a whole lot of shit now. You know what I'm saying? Like, no like, like, yeah, man, what's the number? I'm just going to call in. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to call in. I, I got in the car. Big was sitting in my car talking about take me to the crib. Kendrick Lamar in the neighborhood, man. Birthday just passed. What did you do for your birthday, fam? I actually shot a video, the Elements video. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we, we peeped that out. Yeah, yeah. So you did that on your birthday? That's mm-hmm. a gift to yourself? <laughs> no, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you could have did anything in the yeah. world that you wanted to do but you chose to work well we had that already locked in so i had to get it done because if i didn't do it your that birthday day, is already locked in every yeah. year homie. you know your birthday <laughs> yeah. it's not like somebody gonna tell you your birthday yeah. tomorrow right. like, oh shit i had a video that happens every like, year on the same y'all schedule day my stuff right, man? How did you know about that? look at this right here man <laughs> yep he got damn. a point guys. all right he, 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 he got, got a real Dave, good we, point we, right? we might have to get you to set you know what i'm saying we got to get you to say, Mama, look at this. Man. <laughs> <laughs> go this is crazy. Yeah. So you knew your birthday. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You the, you the 17th. Yeah. You knew your birthday was that day, but you, you know. You, I had to work. <laughs> you shot the video. Yeah, I had to work. I heard that, I man. Get that done. Now, who's making you work like this? Myself, man. As you should, brother. <laughs> yeah, That's why the you're the greatest at what you do, yeah. bro. I appreciate it. Do that. you ever listen to your music and you listen and go, damn. I do. That's dope. I do. My older that's, music. That's dope, yeah. Kendrick. Because I'm telling you, man. As much as we listen, I always find something else. And that's uh, what I enjoy about it. That's dope. And there's times when I listen, and I'm like, I am about to say damn, which is so cliche. But <laughs> there there's you times you'll listen, you'll be like, damn. <laughs> dope. So I'm wondering, if do do you have a favorite Kendrick? Let's let's say damn, because you, you got 7,000 records now. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But okay. do, you, do you have one on damn or, that brings a certain emotion? Or are you like, this is the one I could rock to the most? The, the last record, uh, Duckworth. Yeah, so good. and yeah, a that, story to tell on that, story. man. Yeah. yeah, amen. And see, that's another one that I continue to <laughs> to rewind. So yeah. exactly. you and Pop, Pops and, and and Top was it was it about to be not something crazy, but yeah. you explained the story yeah. so well. Mm-hmm. So that was Top going into the chicken uh-huh. spot. Yeah, true story. True story. Mm, extra biscuits and chickens. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> the, 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 the moment I met Top, uh, my pops came around. They just bumped heads, and it was like. This is crazy. And I'm like, what's what's going on? And sure enough, that's such they a knew crazy story. Yeah. So I've been holding this story for a minute because I just want to feel the right time <laughs> to, to make it to make get it all feel successful right. first. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Did your dad uh, or Top know that you were gonna throw this in the album? No, nah, they didn't. They so didn't. you what was like, their reaction? They heard it at the end. They was blown away. They was Dang. blown away. So they heard it at the end process. That's a really, really dope song. I have this question for you. Mm-hmm. At the end of Duckworth, like it like all the entire album sounds like it like it's like rewounded and reversed. You know, so, rewound it. Yeah. Oh, re- <laughs> rewind it. Take that and put that in your next single. Flip it, flip it, flip it, flip it, flip it, flip it. You know what I mean. Yeah, rewinded. Yeah. And okay. so works. like in the beginning <laughs> with blood, uh-huh. in the beginning with blood, is that the beginning or the end of the album? Because the end of Duckworth confuses mm-hmm. me you know I can't tell you that. Why can't you tell me? Because it's oh, for the, it's man, for the it's listeners. I need yeah. to know. Hey, I can't. Man. I'll be giving hey, away dude, for the whole nah, world. Get him out of here. Get him out. <laughs> you don't want to tell us nothing. Him, it's good, man. Aww. Two years ago, he would have told us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Two years ago, he would have told us, man. Now, why you can't tell us? I mean, dude, I mean, it's, it's if, like a damn project fi- yeah. figuring out some of your stuff, man. Yeah. And there ain't nothing you can just tell us? Like, legit, like, gave me a headache trying to figure it out. Well, it, it can mean multiple things, but for me... um, the initial thing was these stories never happen. Oh. That makes sense to you. Kind of. If you go, <laughs> yeah, it never happened. So none you, of it. None of it happened. So you get to reverse and start it all over again. Yeah. Well, I, I, That's why. So then blood oh, is it. like starting <laughs> all over it. again? No, I get but you it. Get, you I die in blood. right now. You get shot by a blind lady. 
That's a whole nother concept. So you got to oh break my that God. down. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, dude. I'm not doing all this. I got kids work. to raise and all this, man. Like, you just going to have to go bubble gum on us, man. All this intricate rap stuff, man. You got you to gotta go viciously in the place to be, homie. You gotta, yeah, you got to get off all these concepts and all this intricate Too stuff, much. man. Yeah. Over here got us thinking and trying to right? elevate and educate our, and elevate our minds, <laughs> man. Trying to look out for the kids. What's yeah. wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, man. Got us thinking. You know, do you find yourself, Kendrick, being a little more uh, conscious now, though, too? Uh, what do you mean as far as what? Just, just with, like I, I hear more of a message in the music yeah. or, yeah, is that somewhere you at? Life? Yeah, it's real. It's more like uh, my uh, my views rather than trying to. Throw it on, throw it on, throw right. it on a listener, and I mm-hmm. think that's that's my biggest connection with my audience and why it connects um, the way I do because it's not it's not necessarily preachy. It's just mm-hmm. my uh, own ups and downs and trying to figure myself out as well as going through these times of traveling mm-hmm. the world and my own experiences and putting them all into one. And when, and when you excuse me, but when you say own experiences, right? Mm-hmm. In Element, you say that you got stumped out in front of your mama. Yeah. You really got stumped out in front of your mama? Yeah, Avalon swapped me. Damn. <laughs> oh, bye yeah, when I heard Avalon that? Me. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Avalon swapped me. Yep. In front of your mama? Yeah, yeah. She was walking out. I'm already fading. Boop, boop, boop. About three, four dudes. And just looking at mom. mom's tweet, though, that you, she had sent back, she came back and, and helped you out, though, too, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. she like, mom bought it, oh, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She run up and like, get out my motherfucking yeah. 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 So, damn, yeah. did, did she see it or she saw, like, the aftermath? She's though? seen it. Damn. She's seen it. She's seen it. But, you know, it's funny, out of the, out of the, res- the respect of them seeing her they coming out. They could have killed you. <laughs> <laughs> they yeah, they right. could have. Right. They just booked it out. Oh. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, That's crazy. Yeah, was How talking. old were you? I was probably about 15. Damn. Mm. 15. So somebody claimed to fame is that they stomped you out in the Avalon Swap. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I stomped like, him out. You hear the story. Somebody got that. Damn. Yeah, they got that for sure. I heard that, man. Boy, see, uh, somebody get, I ain't writing about it. <laughs> Cats would be like, man, we whooped on big at the Slauson Swap. I'm like, no, you didn't. <laughs> yeah. Hell like, no. no, you didn't. Uh, on that tip of you saying that you're not trying to be preachy, but a lot of people have chosen you to be the voice of this generation. Oh mm-hmm. Does that put, what kind of pressure does that put on you? Uh, it, 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 it puts, I don't want to necessarily say pressure. All I can, you know, do is continue to be, uh, actual human being and, mm-hmm. and, and, and to show them that you know I go through the same emotions and the same you know feelings that y'all go through yeah. so if they you know put that as being the leader of this generation then so be it because all I can do is express myself and hope you you know take something from it do, do you, does it make you happy that you are like I want to say like you're so talented that you've become that like not and that doesn't happen to everyone. Right. Um, does it give you joy or does it um, does it pain you to, like, what kind of emotions go through that, though? Yeah, it gave me joy that, you know, people are actually listening, mm-hmm. you know. Um, it's people, you know, they break my whole 16 bars down mm-hmm. better than I can, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, and pull something away from it different from, you know, what mm-hmm. I, what inspired me to write it, so... Just that right there is, is the ultimate joy. Going out on those, on those stages and seeing them kids rap these lyrics, oh, that's man. the feeling. How many unreleased songs do you have in your head or that we haven't heard yet? Thousands. I done lost hard drives. Damn. Yeah, really? Hard drives from 05, 06. We never got back. Took it all the way to San Francisco to, to get it fixed. Never got fixed. Songs in votes. Do you, do you wow. still have the hard drive? Mm-hmm. We we praying to God that it'll come back to life one let me, day. Let me tell you, man. <laughs> I probably have someone for real that can. That you think can so? Get it. You think so? Probably, but it's gonna come with a price. <laughs> <laughs> of course it is. How yeah. much material is in there? This is about five hundred songs. Five hundred songs. Let's Alrighty. find it. If I can get that fixed <laughs> I, I for you, topic will be listening to this boy. If I can get that fixed for you, <laughs> uh-huh. will you give me a free show? For sure. Easy. I'm not talking about no radio show, Doc. I'm talking about... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm talking about the, something that I can make, I'm, that I can make me and men off of. You know what I'm saying? Can make some, that I can make me and men. You know what I'm saying? You know, I love real and I love iHeart, bro. But I love Jaden, you know, Jaden and, and Veronica a lot better. Man, I was just asking them off air. How's the relationships with the beef with you and, uh, you and Scooter? Are, are you guys cool yet? Or are y'all back to... 
you know everybody needs the exclusive like <laughs> you got to create a story like yeah. right but now what's happened was now on the real was schoolboy one of the cats that stomped you out in front of your mama <laughs> nah <laughs> imagine it probably been for you though if you said <laughs> he's from over there yeah, yeah. 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 when I got caught up yeah. like man what the hell like dude was wearing a fishing hat <laughs> right exactly <laughs> no, but how, how's you in a relationship with schoolboy everybody yeah, every, in TD schoolboy everybody boy. cool cause I know you had a problem with him <laughs> you know I don't know where this problem came I'm from I'm just making things up <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You don't know where it came from. What so? Oh, so you just as puzzled as we are. <laughs> yeah. But do people try to create those kind of things, or do you wake up and look at social media like, man, I didn't say that? Or, yeah, all the time, all the time. But you know, it's it's but crazy. But you're not hard on social media either. Nah, though. but I see it. You know, but what's crazy about us when I look at other crews and I see that they have like problems within the crew, I can tell that they didn't really come up. With each, with each other Yeah it's like hard. some real together together. Yeah you know what I mean Me and Q We slept on the same couch You know what I'm saying Shared the same Five dollars To go get pieces of chicken You know what I'm saying Abso All of them So we kind of know The the depths of Where we come from And never to let it Get in between us At any moment Kendrick Do y'all think Not that we not gonna make it But is there ever A win or like mm-hmm. Like damn man Like Man we had hundreds Of them talks Really though All the time I remember us sitting On the couch saying man Cause at the time we we was looking at artists like Currency, mm. um, shout out to Currency. He was killing it. He was like, man, we gotta like just get to that level and just do the Key Club. We right? Get, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we we get, get to, to the key yeah. Club. This is this is conversation. I never forget it. We like, as long as we get the Key Club, we straight. We straight. We can just rock that and just rock that all around the world. That right, yeah, like man, we gonna kill. We em. get to the House of Blues. It's over. It's over. Yeah, yeah it's over. So yeah, at, it's at over. any moment, do you think like like man like. Was there was there the give up too though? Like man, I'm just gonna go in, yeah. you know, job or just you know. For sure, you had them moments too because you you, um, you be in in positions and opportunities and they fall short. Kind of yeah. like the situation we was at Warner Brother with J Rock. Right, right, that's right. our closest uh, moment being you know connected to the industry. Mm-hmm. And then when you feel like damn, that don't work out, you know, it's like what are we doing? You know what I'm saying? So that 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 put discouragement in all of us. J-Rock, Is there anyone myself. in TDE that you guys had to kind of like pull back that was really like, man, I'm done. I'm done. Um, Q was the toughest. Right. Q was the toughest because he, he didn't have the, uh, he wasn't fully in. You mm-hmm. know, he was just doing music and trying to figure out, you know, where his next head going to be laid. He didn't want to go back and do what he was doing. Mm-hmm. So we really had to bring him in and say, you know, this opportunity, Top giving us opportunity. We in the studio. This is free. Nobody get free studio sessions. Why did y'all trust Top so much? Um, I think just off the genuine love he had for us. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we all in this refrigerator, man. He ain't had right. to. Nobody does that. You know, you living in the same house where his family is at and we going out of his refrigerator. When, <laughs> when you show that trust to some kids. Yeah, man. You know, we was wise enough to know that's real trust. So what did right Top back. have before that? intrigued you guys you know usually somebody yeah. got to have a roster like now everybody yeah. will want to be on tde yeah mm-hmm. what what did he have was there an artist or or was it just like man i see this and i feel like we can make this together i think you know coming up in the in the community we knew his name in the streets mm-hmm. and we just knew how he carried himself you know from the streets to the business and mm-hmm. nobody wasn't doing it like that on his level you know he didn't he been successful in 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 in, in other ways that yes, was sir. even more dangerous. Yes, sir. So when you could be successful in these dangerous, you know, lifestyles, we are looking at the person that you know, look at this music thing as a cakewalk. Y'all gotta get in here and hustle and grind because it ain't as hard as when I was coming up. And 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 I want to ask you something. And I don't. And, and if this is disrespectful, don't don't answer. And it's not meant as disrespect. Huh? But being that you, I gotta ask you. With Top Dog, how many hoodies? And hats <laughs> and Levi's. Do you think Top Dog have like how, how many TDE hats White do you think he have? You know that's a whole out. That's all connected. It's a onesie. It's a onesie. <laughs> a onesie. <laughs> My man, I, and you know what I love about Top? Top would be down there in in front row man. with a the TDE hoodie, hoodie on. Yo, you know, we had a heat wave. It was a hundred seven, bro. I tried to throw some ice at him, and he was like, "Nah, man, I, I gotta wear this hoodie, man." I'm telling you, white uh, 
uh, white outfit parties, all that. He's wearing the hoodie. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man, yeah. represent. I ain't, yeah. I ain't mad That's at him, him, man. Is your level of success that you've reached right now anything like of what you imagined for yourself in the beginning? Um. I mean, we was talking about the key club. <laughs> right. I mean, right. of course, we all had dreams, you know, being on that big main stage, but it all was in baby steps for us, mm-hmm. you know. So my focus wasn't uh, 30,000, you know, it was 500, then right. 3,000. So mm-hmm. it was steps, you know. Right. What What were those times when you thought the we making noise or the, the I made it? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. When, what, what were some of those, like, so called, like, thresholds where you was like, uh, we making noise? Uh, Probably my first show at, um, well, the first first moment we was making noise when Rock had the song with Lil Wayne mm. all my life. I was like, okay. Like, we on up. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was the yeah, Chuck Dilly. You know, <laughs> that's the moment. Like, yo, this really can happen. You know what I'm saying? This is biggest rapper at the moment. You know what I mean? Rocking with us and Rock doing his thing on the record. That was a moment. Second moment for me was my first show downtown LA off my first mixtape, Kendrick Lamar EP. Yeah. Damn, how many people? I mean, people about three hundred. Really though, yeah. And you're like, like, man, yeah, this can happen. Like, man, so when what did it feel like when you first put the mic out and a, a crowd finished your your verse? I'm addicted. I yeah. was high. That was it. That was it for me because now I know I I wrote these raps in my mama's kitchen and I done went around the world and y'all singing these raps that I wrote in the kitchen. That's mm. crazy. That blew my man. mind away. Mm. What about your first trip overseas? First trip overseas. Where did you go? Where I went, London. And that was crazy. And they knew it's crazy that they just know music. And they love it though. Yeah. They're like diehards. Mm-hmm. Almost to the point where they feel like they don't get it enough. So when we come out there, yeah, it's man. appreciated. What's the largest crowd you rocked in front of, Kendrick? 95,000, 100,000. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What a blessing. <laughs> 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 no, <that's, laughs> I thought Amazing. you were going to say like 103,000, but if you. <laughs> yeah. Man. Do does that? Do you like smaller venues where you get that energy, or is there? Mm. Does the energy compare? Like, is there one way? Like, oh, okay, I feel this, but also like, you know, if I could do a, a thousand seater, you know, love the small venues. Love the, after being on festival so long. I mean, it's great energy. The crowd, you see a thirty thousand, forty thousand jumping. You love that, but it's nothing like going to them small holes yeah. in the walls and people were just hanging on the ceiling. <laughs> And they, you know, they want to rap your early raps. You mm-hmm. know? Yeah, we got to book that. <laughs> yeah. Do it right we here. Go. That's a small venue right we here. Go. We got to book that, man. I'm glad you answered that because that, <laughs> that was one of the things I was going to do. As, <laughs> Next on the list. Promote, yeah, promoting the show. A lot of people like to scream out, go, go this, go, go that. You're Mr. One through five. Would you consider yourself go at this point in your career? Not at all. <laughs> oh, my bad. So, move on. Check, check. I got to. <laughs> Hell yeah. I, I got to. I mean, because what's the point of doing it if you don't want to be uh, the best at what mm-hmm. you're doing, you know? So, I, I can't take that for granted at all. When, when you hear people say the verse, mm-hmm. if they say, you know, the control verse, the verse, uh-huh. the mm-hmm. verse, yeah, yeah. is it crazy that, like, we know exactly... <laughs> What cats are talking about, like there's moments in time where we just like, okay, we we know this, yeah. we know that, or we kind of throw something back at you, right? Like that's got to be crazy that you created this, yeah. And and how many people around the world are on top of that, definitely hanging on to lyrics all the time. It's people I go overseas and there's people screaming at that verse, right? You know what I mean? And and it's been what. What's that? Two thousand. And I'm not even minute. just talking that verse. Yeah, it, it's just verses. Verses. Where- yeah, yeah, definitely. It's it's a trip. You know, they can hang on to these lyrics and know them verbatim. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. I done forgot about them. Done moved on, and they remind me like, no, this is how. Like, oh, Do really? you take that into the booth or into perspective when you're writing? Also, that you're in competition with yourself. Yeah, all the time. I gotta challenge myself. Like I said, it's for me. It's it's it's. Always searching for that next thing that, you know, inspired me within writing. It could be another word. It could be another concept, another song, another album. Mm-hmm. But it's just a challenge. It's just a search to write that perfect verse mm-hmm. or that perfect song. I probably will never get it, but I know one thing is going to keep me driven right. to keep going hard. You know what I love about it also, Kendrick, is that, you, not usually, but sometimes cats create such a fan base mm-hmm. and a buzz that they get to a point where they kind of start mailing it in. Yeah, because you know, like we we know it. Then you can always kind of depend on your catalog to mm-hmm. get you through, you know, a, a concert. But you do say that you continue to to one up yourself mm-hmm. all the time, all the time. I got to, I got to. 
Uh, I got to go back to that place when we was in the garage mm-hmm. and, and writing raps, you know, in Top House writing raps and doing verses. Where that moment's at? Did you go by the garage? Yep. I go by. No, I'm talking about, right. I would go B-U-Y <laughs> yep. the garage. I'm talking about go, go, go by we the garage. We still got it. That's dope. Yeah, Do you ever go back there it. for motivation? Mm-hmm. I go back in there, look in it, vibe. Studio still there. Mike still there. I heard. What, other things, still there. what other things inspired you um, when you were creating Dam? Um, what other things inspired me? Um, people in general, just how mm-hmm. people felt. And, 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 you know, it was one of my favorite words in that record. And that was perspective. Mm-hmm. You know, everybody had their own perspectives on, and, and on certain things. Yeah. So my whole thing was to put all them perspectives into one album. Yeah, whether it was mine, whether it was hers, whether it was the homies, all that. Kendrick, you're not a hell of a, hell of a social media guy. Mm-mm. But on social media, you had gifted your sister uh-huh. uh Toyota, right? right, right. <laughs> That's a brand new car, Jack. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's nice. And your sister yeah. was happy about yeah. a Toyota, correct? Yeah, definitely. All righty now, and it was new. It wasn't like a it wasn't like a Two thousand seven, right? Yeah, like yeah. Or what's the one that you and J Rock and everybody rolled to the studio? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you and the So she graduated from yeah. high school. High school. 16. And she got a brand new twenty seventeen yeah. Toyota. Yeah. And that wasn't good enough for the public. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I guess I don't know if it was the public or it was kids on the internet that's twelve years old and thirteen and figured, you know, she supposed to have a Lamborghini. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right. Um, by Kendrick Lamar. Right. Yeah, yeah it's a trip. No, but but your sister, she didn't come back and be like, oh, Cameron, I can't believe you. You know what I'm saying? She nah. was, she yeah. was, and I told you, man, like my, my niece, both my nieces just graduated. Mm-hmm. One from college, one from high school. I saw that and I was like, hey, don't follow Kendrick Lamar on social media. <laughs> you know what I'm don't saying? I was him. like, well, do you follow? I was like, I'm following. Yeah. I, I said all kinds of, he don't like black women. He don't like, <laughs> I said anything to get them to not. To not. That's even too much. Yeah, yeah, I was like, man, I was like, damn, don't, don't follow him. Don't look for no <laughs> Toyota yeah. coming your way. Oh, no. No, not at all, brother. Not at all. I want to oh, tell you, I got man. some tickets to BET weekend. Right. That was their graduation present. Yeah. And that was free tickets from the station. <laughs> but when you look at stuff like that, man, yeah. dude, do you trip off of just all the trouble? Rolling that goes on in that like yeah it is a trip it is a trip like i said perspective um mm-hmm. uh, you know people perspective of me um and and the money that i have and the stages and the places i've gone to you know they probably expect me to not have you know the same morals and values right. that i have mm-hmm. i want to carry over to my family <laughs> right. you know right, man. to my little sister or whatnot you know because you know she's younger than me so she didn't have to go through the same struggle right that mm-hmm. me and moms had to go through so um, I want to continue that that thing to appreciate something. Yeah, man. And be able to take baby steps. Is the thing with like most of those people that were making the comments, like we're going hard on humble, but then you're mad because <laughs> yeah. you got a Corolla. Like, yeah, what? like, you know like what that saying? makes yeah. no sense. Like but, you understand? Like what you you're love saying? humble, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but you don't but like I that. Keep my gotta, sister humble, man. Like, most of no them people probably don't even got a car. Yeah, <laughs> to be real with you, you know, so you can't. And then I'm like, man, well, people. when your brother, sister, whoever graduate. Then you gift them something beautiful. Exactly. You know Go what I'm saying? Go get him that Lambo yeah. you want his yeah. sister exactly. to have. Yeah, yeah. man. And yeah. The Lam- out of height, give her something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let her buy her own at a certain point. Or, right. you know, I, I'm pretty sure she's going to graduate from college. Yeah. Yeah. If you got her a Lamborghini from graduating from high school, you got to get her like a spaceship when <laughs> she becomes a doctor. <laughs> exactly. All righty. DNA. Mm-hmm. All righty now. The song DNA. Mm-hmm. The creation of that. And we pretty much know, oh, when we think about DNA, we think about DNA. All right. Yeah. What was your, where is your mind at? What does DNA mean to you as far as when you're writing that? It was just the attitude, the attitude of being uh, confident and putting that in lyrics and putting that over record. That's all it is. And where does, where does that confidence and that DNA, where does that come from? I think that that part of me was definitely the side of my father for sure. Mm-hmm. You know, he coming here, he's... He's loud. <laughs> he's extra. I heard uh, he's that. The, he's, he's the start of the party, the end of the party. And, you know, he's confident about where he comes from. And, of course, that father's DNA runs through you. Definitely. This is what I want to do with you, Kendrick. <laughs> I have a DNA test right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. This is one of those real <laughs> DNA tests. <laughs> now, this is now, now, we don't know exactly where you come from. Maybe mm-hmm. you got some Cambodian in you. Yep. We don't know. Man. That's the last thing I thought he was going to pull out. <laughs> <laughs> we going to find out. See if there's now, loyalty what we're going to do, DNA. man, this is health and ancestry, all right? <laughs> okay. This is a saliva collection kit. <laughs> right. We're going to collect your 
saliva. First, we got to <laughs> register the kit. <laughs> then you have to take one of the two, spit down in the tube. Mm-hmm. Okay. Fill it up. And then we're going to discover what the DNA is for Kendrick Lamar oh, for real. real. You know what I'm saying? Wow. <laughs> Let's you know, what you really we're got. not questioning if that's your dad, but we want to just see where <laughs> right. things come, come from. <laughs> where did it all come from? You know, did you walk uh, amongst real, like, you know, royalty? Royalty. And loyalty. <laughs> and loyalty. <laughs> no, we're going to see if you walked against with real royalty. <laughs> and if, you, if you're loyal... To the DNA. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. All righty, so we're going to have you. You don't have to do it right now because yeah, I don't know what your saliva look like. If you okay. need some water or anything, if you cut them out, we got water right. over here. But I really want to register you. Got it. I want you to take this DNA test. We're going to send it in, and then we're going to get in touch with you, and we're going to let you know, like, you know, I mean, Mexicans rock with you. Maybe you got a lot of Mexican yeah, in it. I've been dodging you, that you DNA test you know, myself. Yeah, right. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, maybe co- yeah, maybe Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. You know what I'm saying? Knows, right? There it is. You There's know, only so, one way to find out. Right. Yeah, so will, will you will you take the DNA I'm test? I'm going to take, this is it, yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> this is yes. <laughs> yeah, just All right, cool in the game. So we're going to go ahead, man. Oh, we're going to wow. administer. That's what they say. You know, they you, we're going to administer, administer the test. Uh, in a little bit, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna find out. Then we're gonna come back in a couple weeks once the results. That's the come real in. thing, too. Let me yeah, see. yeah, yeah. Please. yeah. That's That's the please, man, go ahead now. That's the real one right there, man. You know what I'm saying? I got an extra wow. one if you, if you want to do. Hey, top. Man, maybe your do, do you want to do top or, or uh, yeah, J Rock or somebody? Or anybody? Everybody. Uh, you know what I'm yeah. Yeah. We and we also oh got one God. to see once we're gonna have TDE all spit in there, see if y'all really get along. See if y'all really family. Let's see. We got the animosity kid. See if anybody yeah. made each other. The animosity kid. Hell yeah. Like, man, I didn't know you were salty oh. like that. Alrighty now, man. Now, um your albums. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. Now there's some people, there's always the barbershop talk. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Which one is their their best album? Yeah. Which mm-hmm. one is their favorite? So on and so forth. You know, mm-hmm. and, and we all got albums. Right. Not as artists, but we all got albums that we like of yours. Okay. Uh, we want you to rate your album. Okay. All righty. Which one is your favorite album? Ooh. All right. Show it to them and, and call it out by name, I day. Section 80. All righty. Section 80. Mm-hmm. Oh, this should be last. Sorry. To Pimp a Butterfly. Ooh. This is tough, bro. Ooh, you shouldn't write good material. Good Kid, Mad City. <laughs> both sides. Ooh. And last but not least, Damn. All righty, lay them out in front of him because mm-hmm. he make a lot of songs. He probably don't even remember what songs were on the album. Yeah. All righty. I know I'm going to do y'all, though. Mm. Y'all going to be mad at you me, You have too. to give us a straight answer, too. Don't I'm try to give, give us no. I'm going to give you a straight answer. Yeah, man. Give don't be a politician. Give you, a straight answer. you want him to number them? One through. He could just tell us in case mm. he wants to number them. Uh-oh. Mm. Uh-oh. Yes. There you go. Yes. That, that, that's wait, the wait, order right which, there? Yes. From which way to which way, though? This way to that way. From section 80 on? Section mm. 80 on that way. This is being the best. Damn what? is the best? Yeah. So you agree with your mama? <laughs> yeah. Matter of fact, is this, this is a tweet from your mother, right? I uh-huh. love it. It text says, message. oh my God. This is, yeah, this is a text message. I love you, right? that text right. message. Oh my God, this CD is bomb. <laughs> a lot of emojis in your mom's mm-hmm. phone. You know what she I'm saying? You <laughs> should uh, You should have put me and your daddy on this one too. Joke. All righty. <laughs> this your best one to me. No bullshit. 100. <laughs> your daddy said you look stressed out on the cover. LOL. I said, nigga, that's the point. <laughs> we always stressing him out. Smiley, crying face. Hey, 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 hey. Since a little boy, you've been an overthinker, though. Another uh, emoji. And a prayer hand. All righty. But what you say, a nigga make it look. Okay, it says, uh. But what you say, a nigga make it look, look sexy. sexy. <laughs> All righty, question mark. All righty. Boy, you can make a dog laugh. Can you make a dog laugh for real? All righty. So she said. Lil <laughs> King can Millie rock into it. Aww. He was so weak, LOL, OL. <laughs> Album is bomb, 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 bomb. 100, 100, 100. <laughs> I missed the Coachella stream. I don't know what that uh, emoji is right there. They say you was floating on air. Your fans are some diehards. I love them. And then you came back. You said you going emoji brazy. <laughs> <laughs> Who taught you? 100, question mark, LOL. That's beautiful. I love that you shared that text. Yeah, that is that beautiful, That was awesome. <laughs> that's, that's beautiful. Does your mom work security detail, too? You know, because mom, be familiar, they be like, man, yeah. that's my baby over there. Right, exactly. What's the one thing that you're so proud of that you did for your mom? One thing I'm so proud of, um, got her off Section 8. I heard mm. that. Yeah. 
Yeah, definitely. Definitely, because that was a... Beautiful. Being in Compton, you got to move around different spots and all mm-hmm. that. You got to worry about the landlord mm-hmm. selling the house mm-hmm. and, and yeah, renting. Uh, don't yeah. I know it, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Like, man, we live, and I tell people, like, hey, man, where did you grow up? I'm like, here, here, here. They were like, oh, man, you yeah. travel like, no, we was evicted a lot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, everything wow. was an eviction. Exactly. So, did you, your, your mom, you, she got the house now. Yeah, she good. She's Is it straight. in your name? She's straight. It's her name. Okay, cool. I about that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, you could live here, mama. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Man, so, so when, you give, when you give her the keys to the crib mm-hmm. as a son, what does that feel like? That's, that's the ultimate feeling. Because, you know, one thing about my mom, she say this, and she told me this yesterday. She always remind me this, you know. But she say, nigga, this motherfucking <laughs> shit. No, <it's> really <laughs> I mean, she said, the thing, only thing I have to do for her is continue to love her. Simple mm-hmm. as that. She she said she brought me in this world. You know, it was my my reason to bring you here anyway. Anything you do for me is just a plus. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, simple as that. So when I look at that and I look at that type of uh, uh, wisdom, it make me appreciate it, you know, even more. It make me want to do more. She never felt, you never felt like you owed her that? Like, she never said it? Cause she when never my, said it. Oh, I see, that's dope. Okay. She never said it. Because see, with my kids, I'm like, hey, you know, daddy got them shoes. You, tell <laughs> <him>. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm tallying right. up everything, Kendrick. I'm right. like, you know, you, you know. Exactly. Yeah, you but know, you owe me this. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. look at this house. You know, right. <laughs> daddy want one bigger from you. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like yeah, you know, yeah. I need you to do better than, you know, yeah. better than me because I, I need to relax. You right. know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, you know, I get up at like 3 30, 4 o'clock every morning, man. So I need my kids to pop. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Going back to these album ratings here, why is Damn top spot for you? Because I think Damn is a, it's a hybrid of all these projects. Hmm. It was me finally being able to take elements from Good Kid um, uh, to uh, Pimp a Butterfly. Uh, Pimp a Butterfly, the message behind the Pimp a Butterfly, the, the Sonics. Mm. And the, the you know the beats slapping on Good Kid, uh, and the rawness of just being able to do what I want like I did mm-hmm. on Section Eighty. I didn't have no rules doing this. Mm-hmm. You know, I was just in there creating, having fun. So when I take all three of these, it makes a hybrid of damn for me. Yeah, yes, sir. that's awesome. Hey, do you, you like, yes, be so prolific. Yeah. 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 Whoa, yeah, right. <laughs> Whoa. Man, do you feel like people over listen to you now too, though, Kendra? Like everybody, like, oh. Man, I didn't heard all type of theories. Theories? Yeah. Oh, my what gosh, are some of the craziest man. theories you've heard? Like, craziest theories. Um that I'm dropping three more albums right after damn like every week. <laughs> I really thought you were gonna drop a second one. We were that hoping was, for because, it. Because because of crazy. Spotify though, because on Spotify we got the picture of you behind a blue wall. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, okay, but he often uses like both of these colors, red, you know, and blue. Mm-hmm. So I really thought you were going to drop that. But I'm going to tell you something. It's a lot of things in that same uh, theory that I don't know how these fans get, <laughs> but they're on point in some Damn. of them. Yeah, they know about certain songs that may or may not be released. Okay. And they put things together crazy, so... Yeah. Did you have the two and three albums for real? Then once we cracked it, you're like, right. I can't even bring it out now. <laughs> now they gonna have to wait. <laughs> yeah, I'm going. Yeah. Oh man, they done figured me out. I had a um, a um, a selection of songs that I like. I wouldn't call it an album, mm. but that definitely made sense for them, for sure. What's your wackiest song? My wackiest <laughs> song. My wife is all. Y'all probably can look it up on YouTube too. Oh really? Oh, <laughs> oh my god! It's called a uh, bitch. I'm in the club. <laughs> what? You know you. you I know it's like. What? Uh, yeah. Say what? I was, we just played it this morning. Uh, bitch, I'm in the club. <laughs> yeah. That was our shit though back then. <laughs> my wife listened to it now. I'm like, oh, man, can you man. go put it on? <laughs> no. <laughs> do you do you remember the lyrics? <laughs> if I hear it, I'm gonna remember the lyrics. Oh the my lyrics. god. Was the with the homies, with, tell with me the homies. Yeah, would yeah. you do, bitch? I'm in the club. Would, would you record something like that now? Probably. Like not. if it was ever <laughs> like made. No. Hold on, man. That was Hold a reach. On, All oh, right. Well. Ow. Y'all need to play that on the record. Yeah, yeah, I go on on a, on the station. They go do that. Oh, <laughs> Put that out. Bitch, I'm in the club with the homies. Tell me what's good. I'm trying to get these house singers. And this is my single. Okay, what these niggas hollering about? Can a strap it cake that? Man, I bring them dollars out. Talk that shit, hide him out. Walk that shit. Big act like you like it though. He's like, yeah. 
No, for real. Who's stopping? Who's stopping? No, for real. It wasn't ter- let me, it's let not me tell terrible. You. No, no, it, no. Let me t- Jesus What's Christ that? trying to blow our ears off. <laughs> now let me tell you. Uh, I can hear Kendrick right on there, right? Right. Now when you mm-hmm. did bitch I'm in the club. Yeah, yeah. You didn't take that to anybody out there and say, "Man, listen to this, man. This shit is horrible." Uh. Uh-huh. This shit is whack. We was loving it. We was uh, You were <laughs> loving it. <laughs> you, it, it so why I can't hear it and be like, "Man, no, I'm loving that." You just looking at all nah. the bodies of music now. He's but at that Kenny time, now. I just know the the I just know the level of reach that I was doing when I when I right, wrote right, the right. record <laughs> from what was playing on the radio oh, <laughs> to yeah. what was on TV. The influence, like, man. Like, was, Lil, was Lil Wayne running radio around that time? Definitely I, running radio I, around that time. I can hear it. I can hear it. <laughs> With so many albums and so are so many songs. Now you're about to head out on the damn on on the damn tour. Right now, going out with damn the tour. Mm. How do you pick what you're gonna perform now that there's so Man. many records? That's why I'm looking at this. Is like I'm really just going off the favorites. You know, like mm-hmm. how you say no no makeup, no right? No makeup on. So I think about what records they used to love from Section 80. Right. What records they used to love from Good Kid. What mm-hmm. made them go crazy? Damn, I'm I'm sure of that uh, to Pimp Butterfly, and I just. You know, make my list from there and make it feel cohesive and make it feel like a big party, you know what I'm saying? Hey man, with so with so many dates in LA, uh-huh. right? And we get a chance to see you at the Staples Center, we get a chance to see you at the Honda Center. Those are spots that you drove past in your lifetime. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? And you I don't even know if you ever bought a ticket to go see somebody else perform in one of those buildings. Right. You know what I'm saying? But for you to come from the crib and go straight to the Staples Center. Mm-hmm. And know that you're gonna sell out every night that you're there. What is that? How how how? What does that feel like? Man, that's a trip. We was uh, I was watching Q on stage at the um, BT weekend. BT, yes, weekend. I'm looking around like, man, all these people that's here for this 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 event, <laughs> yeah. it's gonna be right here in the same venue. Come the show, mm-hmm. you know, and it blew me away. That's like you know, 15. How many people? Like 15,000 up in there, right? Yeah, bro. So I'm looking at that like, man, we came a long way, man. I'm talking to Q about it backstage. Like, bro, this is crazy. Talking about the Key Club, 500. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I sit in, when I go to shows, Kendrick, I sit in the audience because I like to really just kind of look at the crowd. Yeah, Yeah, and I sit far back. Or I sit up at the top and get a chance to see how everybody's kind of rocking. And I remember with, with Q on and you guys coming out and just what what LA what that looked like right. you know what i'm saying just every every shade in there you right. know what i'm saying exactly. like and, and i know i know the world loves you but what does that LA love feel like man that's homegrown mm-hmm. <laughs> Chuck oh. Devil. you know what i mean <laughs> seeing faces like that out in the crowd these people that i actually recognize you know i can look in the crowd and see sections of family friends mm-hmm. people i went to school with elementary people you know what i mean and to see that support it gives me the drive to go out there and represent for them when I go to yeah. the next city. Is it harder to do shows in L.A.? In L.A.? What you mean? Because, because you know what? Like, because you can go. Let's say you go do a show in Detroit. Uh-huh. You probably you have people in Detroit that mess with you, uh-huh. but you don't have like a cousin or an aunt possibly <laughs> in Detroit. Where <laughs> out when you're at the crib, everybody <laughs> want free tickets. Hey. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Everybody wants yeah, some tickets. You know what I'm saying? Everybody. So it's got to be a little more difficult oh, yeah. well, at the does. house. Yeah, definitely. How many tickets do you think? Total, you're gonna have to give out at least three hundred. Seriously? Yeah. So you almost about to do what you aspired to back in the days, <laughs> <laughs> right? That three hundred. I was talking about. <laughs> you about to do that in family, get in family and friend exactly. giveaway. Exactly. Giveaway. Now, do you place them all over the place? Because are are they on the floor with the best seats? Because I, I think that's kind of messed up if they yeah. right there. <laughs> With the best seats. And, and you not right there. You, <laughs> <laughs> you saw right through that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, place them around. Place them around. Yeah, we're going to try to make it work, man. Okay. I want to make everybody fam- comfortable and feel good. Do family get mad at you? Like, oh, well, ooh, this way you got us at? They like, better not. Okay. They better not let me know that. There it is. <laughs> Yo, your sister's going to roll in her new Toyota. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like, people will be taking me like, man, that's a Toyota. Yeah, right yeah, there. yeah. Is there anything else that you see yourself doing besides rapping or that you want to do in addition to it? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, all I see is music right now, you know. I see you acting. Yeah. Yeah. I hear, I hear that a few times. 
But really, I'm do just, you know how to act though? No. Okay, well there it is. Well, <laughs> let's stop. Let's not do that. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to take away from the the whole franchise right. that you're building up. Exactly. You know? Just looking from his music videos though, if you like see his expressions and like everything like really comes through life, so mm -hmm. I just really can't see him acting. For sure. But, but you know what though? That money too. If he can't act, I day then let's I mean, not force him. I never tried it, so I think he can. Hopefully. It's in there. Hopefully. What about ballet? You ever did any ballet or any yoga? Do you do yoga? I ain't done no ballet. I did yoga before. Right. How was that? Yeah. Uh, that was intense. A lot of core and shit. Mm, a lot of core. Do you out. work out, Kendrick? Yeah. You don't look like it. No, I'm just kidding. It ain't showing. It's about his trip. But you got to have your wind right for the you way that y'all get on the stage. You got to be ready. What's the best thing about being Kendrick Lamar? Best thing about being Kendrick Lamar? Uh, being able to travel and being able to connect with people in a, in a different way. You know, I, I watch uh, certain people that, you know, have an upper echelon, you know, type of celebrity, but still missing their way to connect with people. They can't have a conversation. They can't speak different languages, you know, go to the hood and speak this language and be in these offices and speak this language and it's still connect and where people can feel you and understand you. So I look at that as a gift and that's a, a personal gift from God for me. Hey, man, how crazy is it that we grow up Knowing, oh, this is the president. This is the president. Yeah, and then yeah. for the president of the United States, right, the best president we've had, not the one we had. Let's <laughs> yeah, um, not talk about Donald. What does that yeah. feel like, man? When you get invited to the White House what? numerous times, man. and they know exactly who you are. Mm -hmm. That's a trip. You Shots know, you, out. you look at these places as you know, they're not real to us coming up in, right. in the neighborhood. Like mm -hmm. the White House, you know, we think that's just someone on TV, right? Like, yeah, anything <laughs> else. So to actually be in it and see how. You know, they navigate and how they move. I'm paying attention to everything. Like, okay, this is a trip. And then I get to bring my mother and my, my family, oh. and they get to see it. That's it. Did Man, Obama offer it. you, like, any type of advice, like, at all? Yeah. He basically, yeah, like, we got some clown coming in next. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> like, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. Oh, be man. careful. Right, exactly. Um, he really just told me to um, continue to stay uh, rooted, you know, with your own, my own backyard, because that's where it starts, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So anything that I want to do um, further than that, it starts from home first. So as long as I take care of my community, it'll be able to branch out. And did you take anything from the White House? No. <laughs> what did you steal? Right, I wanted no. to. They have vases, you know. Oh, no, you can't walk <laughs> out with a the vase. Vases. <laughs> they Man, a vase? Get like, something smaller. That, that, right, that vase might have been something crazy. Mm. <laughs> yeah, mess around got George Washington right. in it. <laughs> 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 like, this dude came and stole the George Washington <laughs> urn. Man, it wasn't even a vase. <laughs> right. My man walked out with it. But Kendrick, man, we thank you for coming thank into you. the neighborhood. Hanging out with us, man. It's always a pleasure to have you in the neighborhood, man. And I do want to ask you, man, why do you still come to the neighborhood? Why do you still do radio? This is home, man. I heard that, this man. Is, this is, I mean, we grew up off you. I grew up off you, the whole L.A. So mm -hmm. I'm still a part, no matter how big I get. I still remember the early moments of listening to you. So yes, just sir. always have a special heart, part of my heart is listening to you and ready and being to come up here, you know? I appreciate that, man. Yeah. You, you said it just like I wrote it down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, sometimes you got to fix for the like compliment for yourself. But no, right. you know what's the trip, though? The reason why I asked why you still do radio, it wasn't about Big Boy in the Neighborhood, but I appreciate that. But, you know, you get a lot of cats that feel like radio is an, an important medium. Right. You know what I'm saying? When we reach so many people, you mm -hmm. know? And, and, I, and I thank you for being one of the world's biggest artists right? and for still coming and sitting down in the neighborhood. Definitely. So I thank you for that, That's man. So Kendrick much. Lamar in the neighborhood, big boy big in the neighborhood. Boy. All right.